Can you imagine seeing that 100 foot wave and then knowing you have no way to get out of there? Once a warning occurs, that means that not only has that out at sea seismic activity been detected, but it means that dangerous coastal flooding and powerful currents are possible and probable. You need to understand that tsunami waves can be huge and move inland at a rapid rate, and it's very unlikely that you're gonna be able to outrun it. The worst thing you can do is go down towards the shoreline to watch and see if a wave is approaching. Can you imagine seeing that 100 foot wave and then knowing you have no way to get out of there. So once a warning occurs, if you're in that water, immediately exit and move away from the beaches and waterways. If you feel an earthquake, you need to drop cover and hold on until that movement stops. Once that's done, you need to evacuate immediately. You need to get to that high ground, remember 100 feet, above sea level or one mile inland. And while moving there, if you're on a vehicle, make sure you that if the road's flooding, you try to move around it to get to that high ground. And once you're there, you monitor your NOAA radio. You wanna make sure that the all clear has been given before you might return to any area been impacted by the tsunami. 